Today, we're going to add some spark lines to our spreadsheet. For this example, we have the 10 S&P sector indexes, the year-to-date performance, and the price information from the end of last year for each index. Now, instead of looking at all these numbers, we want to look at what the performance of each time series looks like. So we're going to insert a column here, and we're going to go to Charts, Insert Sparklines, we're going to highlight the data for our spark lines, which should be chronological from left to right. And then we're going to highlight the cells where our spark line should go, unless we've already done it. Click OK, and our spark lines are there. Now, one thing we're going to change under Edit, Hidden in Empty Cells, we want to show data in hidden rows and columns. This allows us to hide all these numbers without making the spark lines disappear. Now, I like my spark line to be a little more substantial. So under spark lines, I'm going to change the weight, thicken them up a bit. And now we can add markers. One option is first and last, which will highlight the first point of the data series and the last point. But for time series data, I really like high and low markers. This shows you the highest point and the lowest point. And we can see most of our sub-indexes have been underwater since the beginning of the year, while some were rising at first but have since become negative. And that's one way to use spark lines in your spreadsheets. Don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks.